Hey guys, this is a natural swim pool. is a pool that has no chlorine and salt and it's got a swimming zone uh, where you're swimming and it's got a vegetation zone which causes the water. So the client wanted a deeper pool so you know the bottom is not going to have uh, much sludge stirred up uh, so that's the advantage of digging it as deep as possible. The other advantage is you can maintain the temperatures a lot better so the deeper it is, the more homogeneous the temperature is going to be. So the deeper you go, the less the heat exchange capacity is going to be. The side effect of natural pools is you'd always get a biofilm go on the side. That's completely normal. But what clients have to understand is the water will be crystal clear, as you can see, that's great. But the pool tiles that were there originally, that's just been scrubbed now. That looks different to what it is now. So that's sort of slightly green, and that's considered normal. So that is a side effect, uh, but that's something you've got to expect with natural pools, unless you want to convert it into a foreign pool. So you've got one there just where the robot's going over the top, and you've got one just down there. And what it does is it goes into a four-chambered filtration system around where the decking is. So under this is the filtration system. It's a sediment chamber, the first one, the second one's a Japanese filter matting, the third one is the K1 media, and the fourth one is the pumps. And the pumps, they're three lines, right? So one pump at the moment, the full pump's on. Um, gets sucked out through the skimmer. Uh, and it goes into the geysers and up over the top. And those geysers are good because it increased the DO levels, the spoiled oxygen levels. Uh, so that's one line. The second line goes through a UV clarifier and then under the gravel and then through the roots, which cleans the water and then over the top. Uh, the, the third line is really a circulation line. And what that does is it pumps out into three different outlets. So one outlet here, we've got another outlet up here, another outlet next to the elephant ears. So that's how everything moves. There's not a stagnant zone in this water body. Make sure you subscribe and like to our channel and we'll see you.